Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, already primed this and I put some um, black on for pre shading. Um, that helps with the panel line showing through and should make it stand out a little bit better. So I'm ready to put some colour on this. Uh, the orcs are both painted. Uh, sorry, the orc pilot and the and the grot are both painted up and tucked away in their respective holes. Um, so I'm ready to lay down some paint. I'm using uh, Tamiya's flat XF8 blue. It's quite dark blue. Uh, I am aim to make it a, a little bit lighter as I go on so let's get cracking you'll hear my uh, air compressor kick in every now and again nothing I'll do about that it's quite noisy that's just unfortunate so let's lay down some colour Okay, that was totally unexpected. I I had to uh, get the reamer out and clean out the actual nozzle itself because it got so bunged up in there with dried paint. Um, one of the things you have to do every now and again. Um, I finished applying the blue. It was, not as good as I wanted it to be because of that so it's a bit splattery in places but hopefully it won't won't notice once we weather it down and stuff so let's carry on I'm going in with some red now
Yeah. As you may know, death skulls are scavengers, looters. They'll take anything to make even a firework. So we got one, one red wing, and the rest of the machine is blue. So. Get to it. Just, just put air down. And it'll dry it out. Okay, I need to let that dry. That's going to take probably about six hours to dry properly, where I can then go back on it with other stuff. So, okay, I'll come back when it's dry. Then. I need to paint up the guns and exhausts the two flamers at the back jet engines flamers and the main engine uh, and the skid underneath so I'm going to use um, is it lead belcher no, iron breaker, sorry. Um, when I've put that when I've put that on I'll um I want to airbrush on some Agrax Earth shade. And you'll see why. gives a nice, it's a long process but it, it gives a nice finish to what I want it to do. It saves putting it on, you know, to panel line etc. I mean I've got panel liner but I want to turn what the guns are sort of like a dirty Dirty colour. So I'm going to get painting exhaust and things. And then we all uh, come back. And move on from there. Okay, so I've got down the uh, iron breaker. So we've covered the exhaust and the guns, the engine tube, the flaps, both sides, and we've got the skid on the bottom, the uh, arrester hook, and the big old engine at the back. Now what I want to do is create a I think what we're going to do, it's like a sort of bronzy look without having to worry about metallic paints because I know some of these Balthazar golds and things like that they don't go down very well 
so that's why I put down a room fan steel or an iron breaker because that way I can control the colour that I need as opposed to have it in the actual shade that the company makes so uh, let's crack on it does come out good well it comes out as to my liking so to do that <coughs> excuse me we are going to airbrush neat get that out of the it's a Grax Earth shade it's not a quick job it takes a few layers for it to build up but it does what I want it to do a bit too much in there for the minute so if we can get this into the picture it's a bit shiny It's probably no different to brushing it on, but it's easier to control, I think. You remember to let it dry as well. It still has the drying, the same drying properties. You can encourage it to dry by blowing air on it. I mean, don't. Don't be scared to experiment with glazes and shades like this because they do, they do come out quite nice. Right, I'll come back to you when I've laid down a couple more layers and then you can have a look at the final result. Okay, so now halfway through the process, it's taken about half an hour to get here, but as you can see, the iron breaker is now a dirty 
it's now a dirty coppery colour which is what I like um, my next process to make it even dirtier is to airbrush on some known oil just to darken up certain areas just to make it pop and then I should probably go on with a bit of um, blue glaze just for the guns and across the top of it. like a burnishing effect so let's crack on with that and uh, I'll show you, show you the results of that when it's done okay so that's the no not no no at all and the lemon's blue and we've got a nice blue in effect on the weapons on the front and we've got a nice get it focus uh, a blue in effect across the exhaust system and we've darkened up the engine a bit more uh, don't be afraid to use this type of technique it does give you some nice results um, I use it on a lot of my model kits that I build um, so yeah she's looking rather dirty which is what I expect an orc flyer to look like and uh, is coming along. I need to do something with the tailplane because I haven't painted up the tailplane yet. <clears throat> Let me seal it all in with a gloss anyway. Um, we won't use hard coat because that's not very, not very good for an airbrush. So I'll have to use normal clear gloss, and then we'll uh, panel line it and pick out all the other bits and pieces that we need to do to make it look like it's been um, built by orcs out of bits of scrap metal and then we need to do something with the bombs I might paint them all black and give them blue tips not sure yet but we've still got ways to go on this hopefully I'll have it up soon so let me crack on and decide what I'm going to do next give it a chance to dry ok so she's finally taking shape I've added a uh, let me try not to get my hands on any paint because it's still slightly wet uh, I've given it a yellow tail, a bad moon's tail, there's, uh, there's an adage isn't there, this goes something old, something new, something borrowed, something death skull blue, and I've given it a white, white nose and teeth. Um, so really my next stage is to paint up a few of the let's take the turret off because you only go wibbling all over the place paint up these like a little electrical bits on the bottom down here pick out some of the piping like to the nozzles on the back of here uh, this this skid on the front will need slight shining up on on the bottom <coughs> engine I've finished uh, I've got to do some clean up along the underside of the tail there but then I don't know I might leave it just add some dirt and stuff under it need to make some of these panels on the back of there different colours maybe a bronze colour or something I don't know 
and then she'll be ready for glossing deckling and then I can um, do the last little bit of weathering over the entire entire plane peel off my marks from the canopy and uh, mount her on a base so I'll see you in a bit okay so I've got the um, gloss coat now I used uh, Alclad 2's lacquer aqua gloss it's a very nice gloss it dries up really really quickly and gives you enough purchase for applying the decals so we're going to go ahead and put decals down um, in between that I have painted the nose white and we have a yellow and black tail and I have done the two electrical points underneath I'm happy with the engine and the exhaust we've burnished up the guns slightly they've got a slight blue tint to them but you're probably not going to pick that up very well on this camera because <coughs> of my lighting conditions so I'm going to get down and crack on and do the decals I've got my hot water oh yeah another thing I painted the bombs the black with a white tip they're all nice and shiny there's no there's no knocks and dents or anything on these I didn't want to do it that way um, my my thinking into that is down to if you're making a bomb it's a brand new bomb you're not going to drag a bomb off of the battlefield uh, you're more likely to blow up if you're a grunt so yeah we've got black bombs shiny black bombs okay let's get these down now I'm not sure which is the best option really to go with the decal facing that way or the decal facing the other way um, it's a tricky one but I think I'll put it out against my judgment the opposite way because I was it the jets coming at the bomb blitz bombs coming out of that angle so I'm thinking you want to see the death skull the right way up the enemies can be uh, petrified when they see a death skull coming towards them um, to help with decals I'm going to be using uh, Neo's mark setters and to overcome areas where there might be places where I need to get them down into crevices or over lumps and bumps we're going to use the softener because it makes it easier on the decal I'm not going to put too many on I want to uh, I'm going to have to dirt them up slightly as well well that's not the reason but there's not a great selection there to be honest with you to have a lot of burping going on this morning let's see if we've got any movement on these yep excellent <laughs> right so let's get this down in position Generally use fingers, but 
that's quite dark. Mm. It's quite dark. Let's push it around a bit. Excuse me. Thought that might be the case. It's actually disappeared on there. Mm -hmm. I think I should have given that a lighter background. It looks like the decals have improved actually since I last used Warhammer decals. Oh, they're all bulky and I didn't like them. Well, it's in real thin, which is nice. If you're wondering what the difference is, the setter is just like extra adhesive. Whereas the softener allows you to go over areas that are all lumpy and bumpy and it makes it easier for softens the liquor one makes it easier for it to manipulate the area that it's on. I'm quite impressed with the way these decals are coming off and going down. Alright, let's see what we're going to do next. Um, let's get some bomb decals. And some kill scores. I'm going to use two more skulls, and I'm going to use a couple of lightning strike emblems. And we'll wait for those to dry off properly and give it another coat of gloss to seal them in. Um, and then after that I'll put some panel line down. If you want to pick those panels out. And I think she's nearly there. I'll see if there's any other small bits I need to do. I don't think so. So, once decals are on, I'll get back to you and we'll finish up with uh, some panel lines. Okay, so the decals are down. Um, I got rid of this one on this end. I took it off. It was just, it was too dark. And this, it, just didn't look right and disappeared. So we've only got one uh, Death Skull decal on there. Um, we have squadron marking on the side, so uh, the lightning bolt, Death Skull lightning bolts, 
kill markings for the pilot and kill markings for the grot turret gunner so that's as much as the decals I'm going to put on there um, so now it's had its second coat of gloss um, so I need to put you know, start using the panel liner um, I'm going to use the panel line accent colour I'll we'll use black it's very nice flows absolutely gorgeous in the panel lines um, when it dries you can literally wipe it off the surface if you get any over the top so we're going to use the old capillary action with it because it's, it's that thin and you can almost just touch it in the corners you can put a bit of drag on it but it will just it will just fill it up you're not going to see that too far away in close as close as I can get so it might go out of focus so I'm going to try not to knock this bottle over <laughs> it just goes everywhere so yeah just dab it in and it flows nicely surface there but I should be able to get that off I think my hair got annoying it's good for a little bit of dirty enough as well so these kill markings a little bit bright I can knock them out a bit knock them back Hopefully, see it better on the red. Judging by the smell of it, I would say it's uh, enamel based. Just that's that anomaly type smell. Process. 
Well, it was very nice leaf, very freely. So if you don't have this in your arsenal of paints, I do recommend it. I was very sceptical on using it myself when I first came out. But it is ideal. Also, it doesn't smell that much that it's uh, overpowering, by the way. Looks up down on the old engine. Literally used for anything. Yes, you can use your uh, shades. Utilize your panel lines, that's why they're there. The EW gives you nice big panel lines. So make use of them. This was a normal aircraft will be using this as a wash across the entire entire wing and they have much finer refined panel lines See how dark that is. And it makes them stand out really nice. Not too much gloss at this end. Too shiny, shiny. But it is in there. I'll give me another go for you if I can. about going over slightly but if you've got your gloss down that will wipe off let's try and get it in a bit of light there you go now you can see the panel up right let's do some yellow it's be interesting see it difference between done 
and not done. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to bore you to tears with keep going over that and over that. I'll get this done and uh, let it dry and then we can flat coat it out. Okay, it's time to flatten this baby out. And we're going to stick some matte varnish down and, uh, and call this lady done. Possibly need a couple of coats. Trying to get my hands in the way. Mostly flat now. I'm dry this up a little bit with a bit of air. it was also a little bit shiny um, that is basically it for this build and uh, I do enjoy making walk war machines like I said right at the start I think of this build maybe in the previous video of the build uh, I built this one when it originally came out enjoyed it so much uh, I think I built I think it was a Dacker Jet the first time round it was all in chrome and silver I was told it's not the right colours But still managed to sell it to a gamer and he enjoyed using it in his orc army. Uh, again, 
even though it's quite an old kit still goes very well together very well very pleased with it um, so I mean what it really leaves me to do now is to uh, unmask this canopies I'm trying not to scratch the paint as I undo it and uh, we'll call this one done masks off oh dear me that's a bit of that tight right. don't scratch the glass I don't know if I told you or showed you in the early part of the video, but I had to change the uh, pilot's head to a different one, which I wasn't very pleased about. Um, basically, I glued it a little bit too high, and I couldn't get the canopy over over the top of his head wouldn't sit down so cracky oh dear we got little bits that we got glue in there oh, I hate glazing he's managed to get glue there somehow Why I don't really build too many aeroplanes. I always mess up on the glazing. I don't know if we can see the little grot inside his canopy. Not really. Glazing's a bit.
be able to, might be able to see him if I can get him into the nah. too shiny shiny yeah so that's my blitz bomber the death skulls extremely pleased with the way it's turned out hope you like the video if you did please leave a like if you want to comment on anything that I've done in here feel free to do so um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to I'm sure I'll, I'll end up doing another orc vehicle at some point I do like the orc vehicles maybe a truck or one of their newer 40k vehicles a buggy I thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one